after a small deep freeze and snow over the weekend, the temperatures were back up again. It was 66 degrees and time to set up some community pollen feed. Don't mind the hat on the head. There was a small operation that occurred, um, but everything turned out just fine. Boy, the bees were abuzz today. All three hives, even the weak one. I'm not a sponsor of this product, but uh, this is what's known as um, substitute pollen. Uh, it's um, not truly pollen, but it's a mixture that they designed to basically mimic pollen. Generally speaking, I've found that uh, the bees know the difference. If there's real pollen in the hive, or there's real pollen patties on the hive, which we had put a couple on there, they'll go and eat those first and totally ignore the, the um, pseudopollen. Last week, I had taken a pollen patty and cut it into three pieces and put a third of it in each hive. This was really a test to see um, what they were doing with brood. Once they get into brood rearing, they'll start chopping that pollen patty down real fast. Good morning, guys. They nailed the pollen patty that was in there. They ate it. Now, this is our weak hive. All right. Warm days in the winter often are accompanied by a lot of wind, as if Mother Nature is saying, what are you doing? You've got the seasons out of order. So mind all the wind noise and try to listen. Now they're on the sugar. underneath the sugar. Definitely very active today. That's good. That's good. All three hives are flying and that makes me happy. Even the weak one. The pollen patties that are in the hive are what are known as global pollen patties from Better Bee and uh, they contain real pollen. So the way it will work is the bees will go through their own pollen stores and uh, they will accept pollen supplements that are real pollen real fast. The other brown patties you see in there are known as winter patties and they do not have any pollen in them, they just have fats. So they will not normally eat those anywhere near as fast as the pollen patties. They are chopping down the patty. And I, again, don't even see the pollen patty I put in there. Okay. I admit it. I couldn't resist taking a few close-ups of these beautiful girls. It's so nice to see them alive and well and thriving in the hive, and I just hope we get them through until the March season when real pollen hits. I had some second thoughts about uh, the feeder box that I put out. We have some storms coming, so I wanted to put up something that was a little uh, more weather tight. So I brought out a couple of nuke boxes that weren't being used in the shed and uh, loaded them up with the pollen substitute as well as some crystallized honey, crystallized chunks of honey that uh, we had for many, many years ago. The idea here being is with the bricks on top of these guys in the little nuke boxes, you'd have a weather tight area the bees could go to. It's important not to put these right next to the hives because you don't want to encourage them starting to rob each other. So they're about 20 to 30 feet away from the hives. So they'll find them sooner or later and they'll start nibbling away. I think our weak hive isn't too weak after all. I once again bid you farewell from Buzz Park, and please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. YouTube has a way of rotating us out of circulation, so make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Thank you. At least it's a little weatherproofed.